It was already Thursday, but his lordship's artificial limb could not be found. Therefore, having directed the servants to fill the baths, he seized the tongs and set out for the edge of the lake, where the throttlefoot specter still loitered in distraught manner. He presented it with a length of string and passed on to the statue of corrupted endeavor to await the arrival of autumn. Meanwhile, on the tower, Madame O, in conversation with her erstwhile cousin, saw that his mustache was not at home, on which she flung herself over the parapet and surprisingly vanished. He descended, destroying the letter unread, and stepped backwards into the river for a better view. Heavens, how dashing! cried the people of the thing. And Echo answered, Count the spoon. On the shore, a bat, or possibly an umbrella, disengaged itself from the shrubbery, causing those nearby to recollect the miseries of childhood. It now became apparent, despite the library pace, that something had happened to the vicar. Guns began to go off in the distance. At twilight, however, no message had come from the asylum. So the others retired to the kiosk, only to discover the cakes ice in a peculiar shade of green, and then empty tea urn, save for a card on which was printed a single word, farewell. Thank <laughs> you.